Hello guys and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to talk about how Sputnik V vaccine works. Some people say Sputnik V but actually V stands for virus and some people also think for victory. So it's just stand for virus and Sputnik in Russian language means satellite. Russia was the first country in the world who sent first satellite in the space which were called Sputnik. Take a look at this picture. This is two vector vaccine. This is vector one, vector two. What we call vector vector is in this case adenovirus. Russian vaccine used two vectors. And I will explain a little bit later why two instead of one. Those you probably hear that other vaccines also applied two times, but with the same vector, but Russian companies that develop this vaccine using two different vectors. First, let's pay attention to SARS-CoV-2, this virus, which has a spikes. And uh, that's why we call this corona. The spikes, which are protein-based spikes, make uh, something that looks like corona. There is a gene inside uh, this virus that code for this protein which we can find on the surface of the virus and this surface protein is used in order to attach to certain human tissues and other animals that is also susceptible to this virus. We just take this gene from this virus and we use another virus. In this case this is going to be adenovirus vector and just add this gene. So now vector has not its own spikes on the surface of the virus, but also has these spikes from the COVID-19, which we call SARS-CoV-2. What's going to happen when we got first shot? Take a look. Here is a cell and on its surface, the cell has certain receptors to which this virus, now it has this antigens, spikes, which we call S proteins, which is stand for surface proteins, now would be able to attach. But it's not going to cause any damage or harm to this cell because our organism very successfully uh, kills this virus. Usually we have adenoviruses each year, each season. When you get a cold, usually this is adenovirus, some kind of adenovirus because we have about 200 different strains of adenovirus. And in this vaccine, we use two different strains of this adenovirus. In response to penetration of this virus, which also has spikes from COVID-19, our organism produce antibodies. And in three weeks you are going to get second shot, but with another vector. Take a look, this is first shot was based on the vector which we call AD26 and second is based on the vector or strain which we call AD5 or adenovirus 5. This time organism would produce Take a look, compare this picture and this new response, immune response, which is going to be much faster. And again, first time we get a vector AD26, second time AD5. They have slightly different uh, spikes, but along the oven spikes, they also going to have spikes, uh, these antigens for COVID-19. And why two different vectors? Actually, I don't like these pictures. Let me change them a little bit. For example, this is going to be proteins which make spikes on the adenovirus AD26. And this is going to be spikes which is made of protein on the adenovirus 5 and along this we are going to see here spikes which would be protein, protein S from the SARS-CoV-2 
and also on this AD5 we're also going to have the same uh, protein spikes from the SARS-CoV-2 and when we get a first shot our organism would produce immune response and these antibodies would be not only against SARS-CoV-2 spikes but also against uh, AD26 virus uh, vector and when we get second time a shot if we are going to use the same vector as uh, American and European companies using some of these antibodies would be effectively produced but not against the SARS-CoV-2 spikes and uh, antigens but against the virus itself, uh, vector virus. But when we have two different strains of the vector virus then uh, this immune response with second time when we do we call this a booster again this time some of the antibodies would be produced against the vector itself vector antigens and some against SARS-CoV-2 protein spikes which we call antigens now you know why two vector based vaccine is more effective than one vector based vaccine and on the next slide we will see and can compare different types of the vaccines. This slide demonstrates advantages of prime boost immunization. This red line represents one component vaccine based on for example vector AD5, adenovirus 5, which we only apply once, so get one shot, we call this prime immunization, number of the antibodies would grow fast for 21 days and then gradually decline. Now let's take a look what's going to happen if we will get two shots, one prime shot, another would be a booster and of course you see much better results but take a look each time we are getting the same vaccine based on the same vector. For example adenovirus 26 first time and second time same uh, vaccine based on the same vector adenovirus 26. Now let's compare this green line when we get um, two shots. One is prime immunization and another would be a booster and each time take a look this line and this line is much more steep. Why? Because our organism would react much faster. Our organism had three weeks uh, to produce immune response, to produce memory cells and second time when our organism, our immune system recognize spikes on the virus, the immune response would be much faster and we call the second a shot a booster, number of antibodies would be much higher in our blood and we would be protected for a much longer time. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.